so we know that sound is a set of compressions and rarefactions as you can see and a better way to represent that is as waves in this format where you can see each compression as a peak and each, each rarefaction as a trough so we're going to take that wave keep it in front of us and we're going to define certain quantities the first one being the distance between two crests or two troughs you already know they're going to be equal right the distance between two crests and two troughs is going to be equal and that particular distance is what we're going to call a wavelength so it's the length of this wave another thing we're going to define is how many such crest trough pairs we take one crest and a trough that's like one wave because after that it, that keeps repeating so that one crest and one trough in one second or in one unit of time usually it's a second how many times does it occur so if you have three of them occurring right in a second right one two three then you have a frequency of three if you have four it's four and it's it's beginning to get obvious now isn't it so your frequency which is the number of crests or troughs in a unit of time usually a second and wavelength is the distance between two crests or two troughs and now you have to calculate something called time period right now it's very easy to calculate that that's going to be exactly one by the frequency now why is that true from now let's just call it waves okay yeah a crest and a trough put together let's call it one wave so therefore let's say i have five waves in one unit of time in one second then what is my frequency yeah five in one second therefore the frequency is five but now if i were to ask you what is the time period in other words how long does one wave take this is go goes back to the old question right five mangoes cost 20 rupees how much does one mango cost you yeah you would do this pretty easily wouldn't you if five waves take one second then one wave will take 1 by 5th of a second right it's exactly what it will take if 10 waves take 1 second then the frequency is 10 then how much will the time period be 1 by 10 do you see the pattern already frequency is going to be 1 by the time period or time period is going to be 1 by the frequency so they are related as inwards and it's very logical as to why that is true so we have defined three quantities here time period the time one wave takes to complete second the frequency which is the number of waves in a particular unit of time usually a second and wavelength which is the distance between two crests or two troughs if you like this video and if you want to watch more videos like these hit like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy learning this way download byju's the all new and personalized learning app